Hello everybody, we've got a new update from the old school RuneScape team. This is Zora's Snakelings. So let's have a look at Zora's Snakelings. Looks like we've got three of each type. One for the Tanzanite, one for the sort of fiery version, and one for the default sort of normal snake version. So, Zora's Snakelings. To follow last week's big release, Zora, they're giving a visual upgrade to the Snakelings and Snakeling pets that came along with the update. If you're lucky enough to get your hands on a Snakeling, you will now get three different types of skins for your pet. You can switch between the different skins by right-clicking your Snakeling and selecting Metamorphosis. As with any pet, Snakelings are incredibly rare. Keep an eye out for them and make sure to get a good look when you see one. It won't be every day that one slivers by. In addition to the Snakeling pets getting a lovely visual upgrade, the Snakelings that attack you during the fight with Zora have received an update and will now look much more like Zora. So that's a nice little interesting update. In other news, Zora now remains visible when he's a long distance from his attacker. The cannon no longer works on the Mage Arena, Mages and Collodion. The weeding, watering and composting patches on Miscellanea and Exeteria should no longer get their states stuck. The different states of Bullseye Lanterns have had their names changes to avoid confusion in trading. Standard Iron Man can now use the item sets feature of the trading post, although Ultimate Iron Man cannot. Some more shops have been split so that Iron Man access different stock to normal players. The hit point skill guide now mentions Venom and Advisor Grimm's name is no longer displayed incorrectly during the final conversation of Throne of Miscellanea. So if you want to discuss this update please go on the forums or in my comments below. In next week's update they'll be bringing us some of the quality of life content from the poll that is currently running. If you aren't yet to vote make sure you have your say while you can. So head to the nearest poll booth or vote on the RuneScape website. Please note that if the Grand Exchange does pass this poll, it will be several weeks before it's released. And it looks like it will be passing. Currently it's got 75.6% with 65,171 votes. If you want to keep up to date with the old school team, follow them on Twitter. That's at Jagex Archie, at Jagex Ash, at Jagex underscore Ghost, at Jagex underscore Ian, at Jagex John C, at Jagex Matt K, at Jagex Reach, at Jagex Ronan, and at Jagex Weth. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and share, and if you want to keep up to date with the old school room to get updates, dev blogs, and polls, please subscribe. I've been Lewis, thanks for watching, goodbye.